National Home Show, the much anticipated 10 day National Home Show presented by Remax. It gives you a chance to think about design, decor, uh, all your indoor and outdoor, your garden experts will be here. And uh, we just showed you one of the, the new kind of laneway features. If you really have your eyes set on doing that, next Thursday is the day you want to come. They have all, all kind of experts uh, to talk about how to set that up and, and how to make the most of, of your new laneway suites. I am here with Margaret Napriella, uh, Napriella <laughs> Longhurst. Thank you so Pretty much. Close. Kind of tripped over that a little bit, but what Happens a beautiful all day. The time. <laughs> <laughs> so good to be here with you. I was just Thank saying you. that this is one of my favorite uh, shows of the year because it gets really people thinking about their homes, the design. And, Absolutely. Uh, Bonneville Homes, it's leading edge in terms of prefab. Tell me a little bit about yes. this dream home behind us as we take a bit of a tour through. Absolutely. I don't know if too many people know who Bonneville Homes is, but we are a four-generation family-owned Canadian company. Here, watch your step. Let's Thank take a look. Thank you. We have been building prefabricated homes for over 60 years and have delivered over 40,000 models to date. It is so, stunning. I mean, it is you. expansive and stunning. I came in yes. the front and I'm like, oh, this is big. And it just keeps going. So talk <laughs> about some of the features that we're walking through here. Yes, so this model here is one of our newest models and it is one of the most breathtaking designs to date. It is called the Freya. We named it after the Scandinavian goddess of earth and fertility. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the key features of this home is the balance of raw materials and natural wood. Um, we've got the beautiful, almost 10 foot high ceilings, beautiful. open concept living design, which really gives you that inviting, warm feeling. It, um, you, the, you, you know, to entertain and uh, really enjoy living and being here. So when people come down and to kind of take a walk through, what do you suggest that they kind of take in as they go through? The uh, open nature of it, uh, that is this, you said you're leading edge. What do, what do you want people to think about and take away from walking through this home? Well, one of the big things is the large windows within this mm. model. Um, it's uh, one of our staples in our nature series. Um, it gives you the look and the feel of the landscape outside and just giving you that feel of bringing it into uh, the home itself. Yeah, our camera uh, operator, Ken Enlow, is kind of showing the, the back mm -hmm. bedrooms as well. It does yes. really have a beautiful flow to it. I like the wide uh, board planks on the yeah. floor. It does feel very <laughs> luxe, the colorings on the wall, uh, very kind of modern and sophisticated at the same time. Absolutely, and one of the biggest things with prefabricated homes, and a lot of people don't realize, these homes can go on any foundation. So they oh, can wow. go on a full foundation, posts, crawl space, walkout, and we can customize these models to suit your desire or needs. Okay, well you want to come down and take a walk through Bonneville's beautiful dream home prefab and take a look over at the laneway suite as well, which again they'll be specializing in yes. next Thursday. Come down, there's all kind of, of talks and you'll really be able to get a feel of how to put one of those together. And tomorrow I've been told if you wear overalls, <laughs> Mike Holmes Day, he's going to come and have a big talk. He wants to get a big picture of people in overalls. You come down in overalls, Nick, and I know you have some, you'll get in for free. And just a reminder, the hours are uh, 10 to 9 weekdays, uh, 10 to 8 on Saturday, 11 to 5 on Sunday, nationalhomeshow.com. And there's even a discount if you put promo code CP24, you get five bucks off the regular price. Unless you wear the overalls, then it will be free tomorrow. Thank you so much, <laughs> Margaret. We are heading back into, this is uh, the lane and, uh, Laneway and Garden Suite. Uh, Bonneville Homes doing beautiful uh, prefab work here, and we are uh, pretty amazed by it. But we're going to come inside and show you a little bit in the way of technology. You may be thinking about, how can I spruce up my house on a technological way? Well, Patrick O'Rourke uh, from Mobile Syrup, Canada's leading tech website, is here to kind of guide us through, and in some cases, some pre pretty simple things to do to get the tech in your house to the next level. Uh, so good morning to you. Good Thank morning. you for waking up early. Thanks for having um, me. Tell me a little bit about some of the simple things that we can do to really get the tech into our houses. So this what I have here is a Roomba J7 Plus combo. It's a robot vacuum, but it's also a mop. Pretty oh, yeah, unique. Cool. It can do both things at once simultaneously. Um, and yeah, there's not very many devices like it out there and it'll vacuum your home and mop your home for you. I love that. And who doesn't want a clean home? Uh, okay, over here, I've, I've, I have a condo and I've thought about getting something to open and close drapes or blinds on yeah. their own. Tell me a little bit about this. So this I've covered quite extensively on mobile syrup. It is a smart blind from SwitchBot. It uh, goes back and forth along your blinds and will move them with voice commands. It'll move them with buttons on your phone. Um, it's really a way to retrofit 
regular blinds and make them smart. I love it. And you can stay sitting down when the sun's getting on the TV and exactly. you go, no, I, and I, want, I want that blocking. Okay, let's head over here onto the uh, countertop because these are really cool devices. So right here we have a Nest Hub from Google. It's kind of like a modern version of an alarm clock. It also is a smart speaker. Then beside it, we have the Sonos One. This is a smart speaker that I would always um, kind of suggest that people that are really into music pick that one mm. up. It sounds great. It's a high quality speaker at a low price. So you sing and dance while you're making dinner. Exactly. I love that. And these light bulbs, I've been looking into these ex accessible, not too over, over costly, but you can take an existing home and kind of make it tech friendly, right? Yeah, so these are from Philips. That's a uh, company that makes a lot of different smart light bulbs. It's two different designs here and all you have to do is plug them in, connect them to your Wi-Fi, and then you have smart lights in your home. I love this. Okay, a couple more things quickly. And again, very accessible in terms of pricing. You, that just looks like a normal plug that you plug into a plug. What, what does that do? Yeah, so this is just a smart plug. You can plug it in like any type of light that you have in your home and make it smart. I love that. And then finally, we got a nice little speaker here. Yeah, the last one here is the Nest Audio. I'm a big fan of the speaker because it's cheap and still sounds good, and it works really good with voice commands and controlling your smart home devices. Awesome. So some people don't think they have the ability uh, to get into a new home that's completely retrofitted, uh, but these are really accessible in terms of prices. I mean, you don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars, and you can do them bit by bit, too. You don't have to go in an all-in renovation right away or even an upgrade. You can. What would you recommend as a starting point for someone who just wants to get in? Smart lights. These smart lights here, they're perfect. You can get them. These are relatively cheap, 30 40 bucks, and you can make any light in your home smart. But everything, everything kind of that I picked out here, they're all things that you can very easily and quickly add to your home for a low cost. And if people have specific questions or just want to hear from you specifically, you're having a talk next Friday here at the National Home Show at 3 p.m., correct? Yeah, it's actually this Friday at oh, this 3 p.m. And yep. I'm, uh, it's really just tomorrow. To, yeah, oh, tomorrow. Just to, opening to, day. Perfect, yeah. It's how to set up your smart home. So simple questions that you need to ask yourself and then uh, examples of different products you can pick up. Okay, I think you're gonna see a lot of people in overalls because if you're overalls down to the home show opening day, you get in for free and you can hear Patrick O'Rourke uh, from Mobile Syrup, Canada's leading tech website. Thank you so much. Thanks we'll have me. much more from the National Home Show and I'll tell you the CP24 bonus code that lets you get in a $5 off if you don't plan on wearing overalls tomorrow. That's something you may want. We are here, as uh, Lisa mentioned, at the National Home Show, nationalhomeshow.com. Uh, and boy, it is an anticipation Anticipated every year for so many different reasons. You might want design, you might want to do it yourself, or you might want to think about how you can stay in your home longer and more productively. I'm here with Linda Kafka from uh, Livable Canada. Some of the coolest uh, items and, and kind of renovations to be able to allow you or your family wants to stay at home a little longer. Tell me a little bit about where we are and why you're here. All right, well, you're at uh, the Livable Home Pavilion. It's an education pavilion. And so we are here to help the consumers understand the different things that they could be doing in their home so that they can age in place. So it's not just about aging, it's also about accessibility and I actually like to use the term living in place mm -hmm. because it really does affect everybody in the home. The staff that are in this pavilion are experts, myself, I'm a certified uh, um, uh, aging in place specialist. I have to think about it because I have a <laughs> few different acronyms after my name, I do a lot of other things. But my specialty and I'm one of Canada's leading experts in aging in place and so what I do is I educate the interior design, architect, um, uh, builders, contractors, decorators on things that they should be doing like this in, kitchen. in this kitchen. Now, yeah. you're getting a sneak peek because yeah, we haven't to, opened to it yet. together, but really yeah. interesting concepts to make things more accessible at different levels that you might not think about. Well, for instance, the dishwasher, um, that now the Kitchen and Bath Association has just written new guidelines, but they're suggesting to have the dishwasher lifted 6 to 12 inches off the ground. Why? Because traditional dishwashers that are right at the ground are hard to get into. I'm, I'm you know, in yeah. my 60s, I'm a baby boomer, and you know, when I open the door and I've got to get down inside and pull those dishes yeah. in, it doesn't do good for Ouch. my back. So by lifting it up that much, I'm not putting a lot of stress on my body and making it easier. There's so many tips you'll be able to find out when yeah. you come down here and talk to the, the trained professional. Absolutely. Oh, look at this. It's... You know, pull downs yeah. that are in your cabinetry that make it really easy. Because what we what happens is, is as we start to age, or it could be anyone, even just with an accident, um, you know, a young person with an accident, sometimes reaching is yeah, hard. So we try is. to keep things between our eyes and our knees for reachability. So we're like I said, it's a sneak peek. We've got a lot yeah. of information Let's, let's still. walk over to the bathroom because I really do want to show people some of the really important and impressive things things and the advances that the, have come along as well to not only make things functional but also fashionable as well. Tell Absolutely. me a little bit more about that. 
So, you know, um, we've got a full range. So everything from your basics right through to the fashion, as you mentioned. So what we've got here, and I just absolutely love this company. You'll all know them. Mm. Um, you've recognized the brand name, Bath Fitters. But what oh, yeah. they're doing now, instead of uh, fitting the tub, they're actually creating uh, what we call zero threshold showers. Some people might refer to them as roll-in showers. Okay. But the idea here is not having to step over a threshold and this is flexible oh, flexible wow. enough that you can go over it with a wheelchair or a walker or, or step on it and get in but it's sturdy enough to keep the water in yeah and you you were showing me this earlier how um, you can make it incredibly functional and beautiful Absolutely. So what we're seeing is, is the products that are coming into the bathroom are changing. This happens to be Master Edge. He's a builder. He's a, a, a Renamark builder. And we absolutely love what he does because if you look here, he's incorporated grab bars, but most people wouldn't recognize Designer. that that's a grab bar. So the grab bars are changing. They're becoming more fashionable. We've got them from teak wood to different black color, all different color finishes, rubberized. Um, there's a lot happening it's in amazing. the accessibility. You do have to come down here because there's an incredible <laughs> modern toilet. And I just want to leave you on this because Linda you were showing this this is something you absolutely have to okay, experience when you here. come down is the door and these could work for anyone not just people with accessibility issues but look at this door it opens this way and then it opens this way you don't have to step back if you're in a wheelchair and try to open it and all the difficulties even if you just broken a leg yeah. this is a game changer yep. okay oh. we've got we've got much more we'll have uh, more from the national home show and don't forget cp24 that's the code to give you five dollars off entry and tomorrow if you're overalls yeah, get in for free uh boy uh, i've got a lot for you and don't forget spring forward this weekend and it kind of ties into my whole thought process that the national home show always reminds me of warmer days because you start thinking about spring cleaning innovating design and we've got a lot of flowers here and a moose for some reason behind me but this this flower feature and Sharon Donaldson, by the way, is the director of Toronto Home Shows. Thank you for being here this morning. Tell me a little bit about this feature uh, and yeah. why flowers are important to you. Well, it's springtime and springing ahead, and we can't wait to get outside. So everybody's just chomping at the bit to get gardening. So a major part at the National Home Show is learning all about what you need to do to get gardening, thinking about landscaping projects, how to go into your backyard, and really bring some life and vitality after being in. This winter's been hard, hasn't it? It has, and it's been very great. Like we didn't even get the snow to really bounce that and reflect off in your eyes and make you feel alive. So I think we're ready for some bright colors. And I think we're ready for the National Home Show, too. This is just a sneak peek, Sharon. Uh, tomorrow, it opens at 11. You come down in overalls. You get in for free. If you put cp24.com at nationalhomeshow.com, you get a discount of $5 off a of general admission. It's going to be open all the way through March 19th. So you, And every day, there's almost something different to learn. You might want to come back and back. Okay, we're going to head inside. Thank you, Sharon. Have a great ho National Home Show. I'm going to take you up inside. Uh, this is the Skills Canada, Ontario. It's like this roaming vehicle. And I'm here with Haley McKay. Haley McKay is here from Skills Ontario, who's partnered with the National Home Show because without skilled trades, we don't have homes and we don't have a home show. So tell me a little bit about where we are and why it's so significant to partner with the National Home Show. Absolutely. Well, welcome to the Skills Ontario Trades and Tech Truck. I take this all across the province to different schools and events to promote the skilled trades um, to youth and adults alike. I love this. And this is interactive. You can come in. There's a virtual paint uh, over here and Kevin's doing an awesome you job. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, so this is our virtual paint. Um, we have a whole bunch of different interactive stations, and everything is interactive, including our electrical trainer, um, to show electricians' jobs. So it's not just inside house and building electrical, it's also street lights. Um, and our station number 12, which you see at the front, our fire alarm system. So you actually need an electrician to do fire alarm systems. It really is amazing what goes in there. I mean, we just come home, we flop on the couch, but there's so much that goes into making a really livable space. And it's important not to stick your own fingers if you're not educated exactly. in the sockets. You could run into big problems. Yes. What's happening over here? Um, learning how to change a tire, actually. Um, so we're not only teaching about skilled trades careers, but teaching life skills as well. Okay. So I've t taught thousands and thousands of students how to actually change a tire. And that's important if it you go on a road trip, thinking about is. that. Now this, I, I begged you to get into here, and you said yes, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> you Absolutely. can get it. Absolutely. What, so what am I about to... This is our heavy equipment simulator. <laughs> heavy equipment um, simulator. So right okay. now it's... Um, uh, on the wheel loader, so if you want to okay. hit resume. So this is my brake. Yeah, this you're. This is my forward, and this is my steering wheel. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna get a ticket for distracted driving <laughs> here. 
Uh, and I, so I can drive it around, but I wouldn't be very productive at doing other things because I have no idea. <laughs> what well, these... and you don't have both hands. Oh, I don't have both hands. No. So that's, that's uh, I'm going to pit pause here, but you can For come sure. down and, and people can try this when they come Absolutely. into the skill Absolutely. Right? And um, if you go to our website, skillsontario.com, we actually have videos of the truck, uh, about a 15 minute video. So that's pretty neat. And then we have day in a life videos as well of other different careers. And there's, there are amazing skills, great pay, and you really contribute to building Ontario. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Haley McKay. We have given you a little bit of a sneak peek here at the National Home Show. Don't forget, nationalhomeshow.com. If you enter CP24 and the promo code, you get $5 off the admission. If you come tomorrow in overalls, you come and you get in for free. Mike Holmes will be having a speak here. There's going to be talks all week long. Tomorrow there's a talk on technology. There's going to be a talk on, on all kinds of technology and design and education. National Home Show until March 19th here at the Enter Care Center.